The four riparian states, Botswana, Lesotho, Namibia and South Africa, met in Maseri this week. This a pivotal step in achieving a basin-wide e-flows regime grounded in science and inclusive stakeholder participation to secure a sustainable future for the Orange Sinko River Basin. Lesotho right now, we call it the water tower of the basin. Um, most of the water within the basin lies within Lesotho. There is a lot of development that's happening within Lesotho that benefits all the other countries that share the basin. We are looking at the sustainability of the ecosystem because we can develop infrastructure, we can develop dams, we can put um, boreholes, but at the end of the day, if we don't sustain the ecosystem, we will lose all those benefits. And to this state, the phase two of this meeting now seeks to formalize its work through the development of rules and procedures that will guide e-flows management across the basin. We all understand the importance of water. We understand the water is very important to um, function. We need our rivers, our wetlands. We understand that groundwater is very important. Um, we need all these different components to be working in the future so they can provide all of us with all the services that we need and that we depend on all the time. And that portion of the water is called environmental flows. Um, as Botswana, uh, we are a very water scarce country and in that regard we, as a member of Orasocom, are in this process to find ways in which we can develop rules and procedures of how we can equitably utilize the resources of the basin and as we know, water going forward is a very uh, important resource that could cause future fights between countries. And we are, trying, we are trying to prevent these future wars that could be caused by fighting for water. We should also uh, make cognizance of other ecosystems other than just people. Because even the, the fish the plants and everything that lives in the river, they need this water for survival. According to the Orasacom Secretariat, this workshop serves as an example of regional collaboration for sustainable water management and climate resilience. The riparian states have continued to display a solid commitment to protecting the shared water resources of the Orange Sinku River Basin. I'm Rapelang Khatebe for SABC News, Maserolo Sud.